Take a look at this dramatic rescue caught on camera. Firefighters rushing to save a 16-year-old after he plunged through an icy pond in Missouri earlier this month. And in Pennsylvania, 12-year-old Colin Orr pulled from the frigid waters by neighbors who heard his screams. Kind of felt like I was going to die at that point. Luck may have saved him, but some basic skills could save you. To demonstrate how to survive crashing through the ice, we travel to the tundra of Indianapolis. That whole team is just in charge of making sure that I can get rescued. Pretty serious operation here. The Indiana State Police and Fire Department giving me a life-saving demonstration. But first, a checkup. Open your mouth up for me. Uh, side to side. Bite down. Follow my finger here. Do you feel this on both sides? Yeah. He's good to go. Good to freeze. So, my teacher, Dr. Gordon Giesbrecht, a.k.a. Dr. Popsicle, the world's foremost expert on hypothermia and ice rescues. It would take you at least half an hour in here before you became hypothermic. Good information, but small consolation on a balmy 15-degree day. Gordon says the first thing to know when you hit the water is that you have time. Then get control of your breathing and don't panic. Two words, kick and pull. Kick and pull. Put your arms on the ice and just kick your legs and just try and pull yourself along the ice. Like swimming on top of the ice. Trying to swim on top of the ice. With no special wet or dry suits, I take the plunge. I was just walking along and... Mind numbing cold. Okay. But I acclimate, adjust my breathing, and then remember my instructions. I kick and pull my way to safety, but as this thermal imaging camera shows, my toes and extremities were blue and cold. But that's just from the original exposure to the freezing water. My core is fine. I'm not hypothermic. You want me to get back in? But no warmth for the weary. Oh, yes! She's like getting back in a nice tub. Yep, back in the water. But this time, Giesbrick gave me a nifty tool to help making extracting myself easier. These are called ice picks, and, and most people who snowmobile or go ice fishing have these around their neck. Okay. And this will make getting out a little bit better. Easier indeed, but same rules apply. Kick and pull. All right. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Los Angeles.